talking players' journeys to playing for Wales. You're both quite interested, got quite interesting stories because you both played different sports uh, when growing up. Uh, Joe, you played cricket for Wales. Um, what was that like? Uh, yeah, so I kind of started cricket probably before I got into hockey. Um, mm. So it's, it's similar things, to be fair. So it wasn't a massive change to hockey. But so I, st I think I still play a few cricket shots in hockey. So talking about those like, sort of transferable skills, like obviously hockey shots are quite different to cricket shots at times. Do you feel that sort of helped you to become a better hockey player through playing cricket before? Uh, yeah, I think for me personally, it was like more the hand-eye stuff, which was quite nice. And it's, it, there's some things are very similar. Um, mm. So it make that transition quite easy, I guess, in comparison to starting a completely new sport. So for me, yes, but for others, they can be prominent in hockey or prominent in cricket and it, that transition isn't as easy. Yeah, and, and Beth, with table tennis, would it be like reactions that sort of have maybe helped you become a better hockey player? Yeah, I think so. And again, sort of that, that hand-eye coordination kind of stuff. And I mean, it's a much smaller space you have to move with table tennis, so you can be a little bit lazier. But I, I think I quickly worked out that individual sports wasn't really for me. Um, and once hockey started to get a bit more serious and take over, uh, I realised that I wanted to be part of a team. Um, mm. That's why then I sort of stepped away from the table tennis side of stuff. Yeah. And do you remember that, do you remember that moment where you decided that maybe table tennis isn't for you and do you want to play hockey? Yeah, I think it was it was a joint decision because obviously I was quite young at the time. So it was a joint decision between me and my parents that we just couldn't fit in the time. Um, you know, of them having to, to drive me to all this different training in different locations. I just couldn't fit it in and training slots and evenings started to clash. Um, so I had to eventually pick and it wasn't a hard decision. Um, hockey was was quite new to me when I decided to stop table tennis. Um, and I just enjoyed it a lot more. I liked, like I said, being around a team um, and training. And yes, yeah, so it, was, it was quite an easy decision for me to make, to be honest. Yeah. And how long did you play table tennis for? Um, probably about two or three years. Um, I represented Wales um, once over in Belgium. Um, I think I was about nine or ten years old. So again, I was really, really young. Yeah. Um, I've kept it up just sort of recreationally, um, just play down the park every now and again. Um, but I don't think I'd be any good now. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of years and then hockey started to clash and take over and that's when I decided to, um, to give up the bat. Yeah, and Joe, how long did you play cricket for? Uh, probably, I think it was about 10 years. So I started probably similar age when I was 10 and then basically played up until university and then I think it gets a bit busier there. So then that was kind of the decision for me that I had to choose one and hockey was the more enjoyable one at that time. Yeah. Do you still play cricket ever? Um, I, li I do a little bit of nets every now and again because I do quite like it. And it does help my like, coordination thing and stuff. I was going to play this summer, so I was going to join a club. But obviously that didn't happen. <laughs> uh -huh. um, that was my aim for the summer, to play a little bit on weekends when I could. But unfortunately, wasn't quite there. You still play it on when you're on the left post, though, Joe, don't you? Oh, yeah. On left post. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you still follow cricket? Do you, England playing the West, End, West Indies, that's coming up. Do you still follow cricket? Are you tuning in to watch it? Uh, when, when, when we have time to follow it, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> in that, it, it can be quite difficult. And like, I do check in scores and being in school as well. I, I do get a lot of the kids talking about it with me as well. Um, so I have to be on it a little bit because otherwise I do sound like an idiot. Um, so I do a little bit, but it is quite a bit of time to spend doing that as well as doing all our hockey stuff. So a little bit. Fair. Um, Beth, the only time I've ever watched table tennis is at the Olympics. I'm amazed like how far away they get from the table, etc. Do you watch it at the Olympics or ever? Um, I've watched a few sort of highlights and stuff, but it's just so fast. It was I was never at that level at all. Uh, I was just about getting it back over the table. I was just about standing up and reaching the table at that age. Um, but yeah, it's amazing how fast it is and how far back they get and some of the shots they get over the net is incredible. Yeah, and, I really do appreciate watching that. <laughs> yeah. Have you got the table tennis table out during lockdown? Is that something that kept you active? Well, there's, so there's one down at the local park um, yeah. that we try and fight to get on if there's not a queue. <laughs> um, but we have got one of the sort of detachable nets that you just stick onto any table. Oh, so yeah. uh, I was at my parents for the first, um, the first bit of lockdown uh, so the dining room table. Got a bit of a beating, <laughs> the ping pong ball. 
Have you ever played any of your teammates at table tennis? Um, yeah, a few times. So when we go away for camps and tournaments and stuff, if there's a table, we're straight on it. Um, Ella Jackson's pretty handy uh, yeah. with a table tennis bat. She's um, a keen tennis player, so she's got um, she's got a good technique. Um, yeah, and I, I I don't always win, so really? I, do get, uh, I do get a bit of abuse <laughs> when <laughs> I do, if I don't uh, if I don't turn up and play well. <laughs> Having played for Wales at table tennis, you feel a bit of pressure, is that it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just say it's because it's now t almost uh, 15 years later, so. <laughs> Joe, are you any good at table tennis? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I think our last time, when was it? Valencia, I think there was one. I don't think I was great. I think <laughs> I tried, but the whole table, it's quite short, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's interesting going from being in a team and then going to play in something individual like that. Mm. Got to, yeah, it's mentally, it's quite tough to do. <laughs> I get very frustrated. Fair enough. Is it good for bonding or do you guys get too competitive with it? Um, I think we keep it pretty chilled. There is gloating if there's winning going on, but yeah. There's a lot of gloating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other games that you play that's not hockey, at table football or anything? Football as a warm up or at all? Um, it depends what the facilities are like. Some places will have a football table. Um, yeah. Pool table. As well. yeah, pool table, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, if there's a football knocking around um, during a warm up, then it will just be kicking it around or doing keepy ups or whatever, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, anything to keep us uh, entertained, really. Fair. And um, Joe, what have you been doing during lockdown to keep yourself active? I've, I have got a pitch at school, so I am quite lucky. I have the very few people that are quite lucky. So I am on there pretty much every day making use of that. Mm. And then just like keeping in touch with people, I guess, is the main thing because it's quite, you can get more isolated on your own. But I guess that's the good thing with all these Zoom things. So it's just keeping in touch with people, doing some workouts, just having a catch up. So a little bit of everything to keep me entertained. Nice. Yeah. And how much are you looking forward to getting back to playing hockey? I'm quite excited. Just when people, it's, when you're on your own, it, is quite, it does get a bit tedious and there's only so much you can do. And I think it's more like the team and just with people having a laugh, that's the bit that I think everyone's missing at the moment. And like, because we can all play and that's not the bit we're missing. The bit is the fact that we're not with our friends playing and having fun. So that's, that's what we're aiming for and hopefully that'll come soon. Yeah, yeah. and Beth, are you missing it as much as Joe? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, and Joe and Joe and I play at the same club together as well. So um, we we see a lot of each other, and it's been weird not seeing everyone um, that we usually see two, three, four times a week. Um, but we've been, you know, like Joe says, keeping in touch online, doing workouts and stuff like that. Um, and as a as a senior squad, we've been doing virtual camps. So we've had a couple of virtual camps so far, um, which have actually gone really well, covering. Um, a range of stuff that we would usually cover if we were all together um, and we thought it was quite important that during this time we can't be together we just keep um, ticking over in terms of tactics and you know seeing each other and just checking in that everyone's okay um, so those have been going really well but yeah it, it, it's, it's not the same as being out there on, on the pitch um, and yeah like Joe said can't wait to get back out there get some yeah. training <laughs> And there's quite a group of you all play for Holcomb, isn't it? Um, from the Welsh internationals. How great is that having all of you guys playing at the same club? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really good. Yeah, we've we've all been there together for um for a couple of seasons now. I think three. I think we did we move three years ago, Joe. Yeah, three um, years ago. Yeah, and Rose as well. So there's five of us now there with Leah and Sarah. Um, and yeah, it's really good. Um, again, we get used to playing with each other, um, which which always helps when you go back to the Welsh stuff. But yeah, it's good good vibes. Oh, great, and um, I'm sure you guys both have many more years to come playing um, ho hockey. Would you do you see yourself just staying with hockey and maybe going to like masters level or taking up golf or trying a different sport when you're older? You can take that one, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I am closer to it. Yes, um, I think I well. I don't know, because it depends. I still really enjoy it. So I think as long, if the enjoyment's still there, then I will just continue. I do, even now, I do every now and again need to go play a different sport just to, it's like a distraction of the brain. So I've been doing a bit of tennis just to do something different and new skills and a bit of cricket every now and again. But I probably will predominantly stay with it as long as my body allows me to do that <laughs> yeah. is the other thing. But yeah, so it's, I think I'll end up doing a bit of everything rather than just the one sport when I'm older. Yeah, Beth, um, any other sports you'd see yourself trying? Um, 
not at the level that we play hockey. I don't think, like Joe says, like just something on the side to, to do something different, really. Um, I quite like, I live near the beach, quite like going for a swim, a um, bit of kayaking, stuff like that. Just something different and, it, and just to keep you fit in a, in a different way as well. But yeah, for as long as I can play hockey, I, I, I will try and play. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been great chatting to you guys and can't wait to see you guys playing hockey soon.